you break down the detailed method of causal inference and propensity matching, which in the way that you explain it mimics A-B testing by comparing similar groups to estimate causal effects. Can you break that down for us? Instead of comparing people just randomly who bought versus who didn't, we're going to be comparing people that bought to people that look like they should have bought but didn't. You're trying to compare apples to apples instead of what would have been apples to oranges if you can't A-B test. So that's, mm. that's how I explain it. Great. Sounds like we have a chance of proving this is impactful. And there's no risk of like holding hold back, which right. marketers hate. Right? Mm. Marketers hate holding back. So, so propensity matching overcomes that. Mm. Having variables like what day of week do they ride the most? What time of day? Where do they live? All this first party data that all of a sudden you can start to put personas around these things. And mm. so first party data is where you should always start. 